Rangai versus uh, Marky. Those two war veterans right there in the paint. Thank you so much for joining us today, ladies and gentlemen. Javi Polanya, Coach Mike Perez. Oh, the three on the other end. Wow. And the lob off of the baseline inbound to Meron Heruta to James Quick. But they. Jenny Stevens is going to be key because he got 10 points in that last game. And it's going to be vital that he performs this way. And more importantly, stay in the game without fouling out. That's correct. But you too would like to see him make those shots as we see that little action right top of the three. They're going to make the defense really spread out. Yeah, Aldai last year was actually throughout his FPBL career is a double-figure scorer. But this year, he's only averaging 5.9 points per game. Vision and his three shots could play a key role to this run by Bacolo. Green was set up. This one's on the other end, though. Joe Lee Yu just getting that straight line drive. But that is yeah. Which he wasn't supposed to. Liu this time from the outside really feeling good about that stroke that is a three-pointer when he was in high school and college I saw that firsthand that's why it was really quite a dilemma for coach Mike Oliver at that time because his two defensive players could not shoot the ball <laughs> <laughs> and so he had to develop the other one the choice was, <laughs> was Liu come on now have you lead now Koga Turns the corner. I oh, love that Good action. Good pass right to Mark Sarangai. Oh, I just love that action. Little pin away, getting that screen back it off to Mark Sarangai. What about Sarangai this season, coach? He has been playing splendid basketball. Great. Quick with Tay. A little strong on the three point drive, but look who's here. For the better on Marquee. Uh, might not be his usual numbers this season, but it's still good for. Number four is for Joel Liu. Yeah, that's why you love Joel Liu. He's got that nose for those defensive boards, offensive boards rather. Oh, what a strip here for Chris Menges. The chase down at them for James. Here by Menges. Out in the open, one against three. Went up higher. And got that shot to go in. His space was too crowded. Liu drives left, Kwekote. Onto the middle, Kwekote with the score. By two. Another guy that was one of their main point guards in their rotation. Sarangai, great move to look at the inside points, 12 to 8. Sarangai attacking Egilos. Sarangai, that is a tough shot. He gets the bounce. Medel waited for Egilos to come out, tried to spin, pivot step, and a drop finish right there, just very clearly on mark. And this time around, going the other way. And how about that body control to finish off that shot right through traffic against the Batangas and Quezon. They, you don't want to go up, up uh, with the results same as uh, Nueva Ecija versus Pampanga. You, you want to be performing better. Yeah, suppose they still go into that game tied with the Batangas City and played for La Cocha La Son College, but you know, it took him a while for him to be able to crack the racks professionally. He really had to climb the ladder. LA offense right now, letting the big man make the decision. Good spin off the base. That's Alfred Cedillo getting his face up and back to the basket. The guy can produce too. He certainly is a very versatile player. But Ivan is showing that despite the defense, he could also knock it down from three-point country. Cedillo trying to answer back. That's a reverse by against each other. That is correct. Time is down to six. Nermal hitting it from the left corner. That vastly improved outside shot. In their previous game, especially in their in-game adjustments and their defense, they tried to address those. To sustain this all throughout the four quarters. Oh, Mateliano looking to do just that para sa kanyang kumunan. The man they call the Iceman draining it from the right corner. Cedillo just could not get the roll on the finger. Aldai, he knew it was good the moment it left his hands. Oh, that's the typical Aldai that kuha niyang atensyon ng maraming scouts in the pros. More particularly here in the MBBL, first played for the Beagle Volcanoes and then the Quezon City Capitals, Alex Angeles. That was amazing with it on KC Alvin Aldai. You see another three boy. These these guys were really shooting the lights out today. That's no 50% for Maholod. Rasibas flashes middle. 
Air balls that free throw line jumper. Puroy katimbuhan. Sabi nga ni Coach Vinci Salvador in that report by Andrea, this could be the land of luck para sa kanila. Viloria rejects the pick. Tries to leave it for Hamito. Eventually still gets it. It's just foul. Reggie Boy Basibas. To Puroy Katimbuhan. Double pop. And the score. Finding that finish. How about this open court basketball right here? Katimbuhan initiating that contact and finishing right through the defense of Ludo Vise. Going down and getting that shot in. Astaran, first appearance in this game for the strikers. Viloria, they're looking at their ball. Cañete, that's all he needed. How about this one? Just a clear back door right there. Good vision inside. Everybody caught ball watching there of the Bacolod City of Smiles. Viloria gives it up to Cañete. That's a lot of space for Mike. Yeah, that's right, Abby. That's a lot of space. Look at that. Nobody on him. And Cañete just says, I'm going to hoist it up and make it. And you know, Mike Cañete has not shot a lot of threes this season. But when he does, he shoots it at the very best. So, our very hardworking MPBL top brass, led by our commission category, Jamar Gimpayan of the Correct. Amos SB squad. Correct. And Mark Matuano is obviously in a different character. to 32, three-point field goal story right there on your screens. Wow, already seven threes in the game. Why? Right. I mean, 70% through almost the entire first half. That's turning the corner. He loves this hesitation yeah. and then the spin to the other side. Great play by Puroy Katibuan. Uh, that was a good read. He saw that uh, his uh, primary defender was late. He got a mismatch in front of him. A little footwork. Point lead for the strikers. Asidre, 14 points in that game against Bicol. Pastoran attacks, wow. leaves it. Montuano gets the basket. Does it here for the strikers. Sarangay testing his metal against Montuano. What? Look at this one. Sized him up. Nobody on the baseline side. Turned that way. Faded. Almost Kobe like right there. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, not really the prettiest of the ball game for Coach Alex Angeles. Montuano. That screen didn't hit, but Pastoran still gets away from the defense. Pretty floater. 49 to 40. Viloria. Does it use the screen again? The spin. The finger roll. The basket. Out of transition, you had one, I guess, from um, um, Abby. It's, it, it's really just the offense running to, through Mark right now. Same thing there. Uh, this time, he gets a pass to Coy Alves for the reverse underneath. A uh, good start here to the third quarter. But you know, the pass is supposed to you know, na 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 Post action as well for the Bacolor City Strikers as Marky gets that feathery touch. Talagang ramdam mo yung presence ni Marky defensively, eh, no? Jaime wasn't quite sure if he wants. He stepped on the sideline as we take a look at this exceptional pass of the game that's brought to you by Buraki de Leia, the official hotel and resort of the MPBL. Parang si Joey Liu, ready ng rumibang. <laughs> Peruta, bounce pass, Jaime gets it on the reverse. His last three shots. Oh, great play on the break. Two oh, veterans man. playing for Chito Jaime. Out running the floor, Chito rewards the big man. And he just says, I'm going to get it for you. Uh, ten years ago, that could have been a slam. But still, two points nonetheless. Para kay Marky. After that basket by Koy Alves. 
the city of Smiles haven't been able to get one. Right. One potential point producer for Bacoor. Pasipas could be the same guy too for Bacolod. Oh, what a play. Except it's a pitch back to the guy from the other slot. Tough find inside. That was a very tight feed by Alfred Sadilio locating Reggie Boy Basibas. Sadilio just finishing on a spin. Good backdoor by Basibas. Good read between those two guys. Back-to-back -back baskets for Reggie Boy Basibas. But Liu waits for a teammate. Leaves it. James Kwekote. The basket and one for James Kwekote. And you got a player like Kwekote with that much momentum and right through contact, and you just gotta let him go. What a find right there by Joe Liu for his third assist of the game, being fancy with the rock. And James Kwekote in Bishop in Liu now working on another lefty, Domark Matiliano. Jaime spots for three. Oh, wow. Jaime will score. Heruta pushing pace, Heruta the bounce pass, Marquis the fake, the Man. foul, the basket, and one for Marquis. Man, those two, those two baskets so far, fusion wise. Look at this one. Point guards really just making those guys commit. And look at Marquis. Patient pivot, finish goal. Followed by Quezon, which is at the fifth spot, both from the Southern Division. Kaya naman ang reminder ni Coach Alex, irespeto ang Bacolod and go as hard as they can. After all, Bacolod is still running for that playoff spot. The Nueva Ecija and then the Pampanga, those two games, you know, could have stamped your class mm -hmm. as one of the top squads in the league. That's why. 21 under 2. Deruta picks up the rap. Jaime from the outside that shot has been looking very exquisite opposite wing three she's got the corner three on one side he's only left the other corner in the top of the key that's the spot that he hasn't shot Wuhan had that stolen from behind Chito Jaime nobody home on the other side Chito Jaime will score once again I think may nagtanong sa kanya kung uh, kailan niya naman para pa-practice yung mga galaw niya. Sabi niya, high school pa lang, galaw niya na yan eh. Hindi na nawala eh. Hindi na nawala. Of course, that guy was once the record holder for most points that was able to break yeah. it with 89. Yep. Alan Alday opens up the scoring festivities here with a floater for the Bacor City Strikers. 7 pass to Katimbuhan. There Back to go. Sarangay. Mark could not score. Good thing Chris Menkes was there for the stick back. Cured by Michael Cañete. Nermal in the open floor. Oh, leaves wow. it. Egilos with a slam. And how many times have we seen Egilos with a finish like that? Big man for going to those open spots. Look at this one. Just a two-foot leap with a one-hand jam. And that's really a testament to how well these marquees. I'm sure you didn't reach Robert Jaworski playing. Hindi naman. na siya na napinanganak ako. Don't get me started here. <laughs> For Bacolod. Koga, step to the left. Continues to struggle, but Cedillo gets the offensive rebound and puts it back in. Away. And that pass was too low, too. Jimboy Pastoran hasn't seen a lot of time in this game. Hamito goes for the jumper, able to get that. Waiting for that opportunity to come up. Koga, able to get the basket in one. And finally, the try toward the left side, good screen. And initiated contact. Basket right there. The jumper Hamito after that. Suddenly, Koga pushing it, leaves it for Matiliano. Domark from the outside, bang bang. Good shot right there by, by the cap. So once you get it, you got no defender, you got to finish. Look at this one, another steel turn in favor of Bacolo. This is a seven point run here. Movement right there, but you know, Matiliano, he's free, he's gonna take it. He's made one earlier, he's, that's his partner. How about that defense by Yusei Koga, able to finish the cap off a 7 0 run here by Bacolo. Viloria puts the ball on the deck, leaves it. Hamito blocked from behind by Sarangai. 
Koga lobs it to the middle. Sarangai. Hook shot. Hits wow. the bounce on the hook shot. That almost seemed like a broken play, but Mark Sarangai. Really Fire. No good. There's Mark Sarangai. Oh boy. A foul against Cranial Veloria. That's a big call. That run. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> might have a case, too. Full of them, especially on that baseline out of bounds. Foul on number one, Cranial Veloria. Penalty. Technical foul on Maor Strikers. Coaching consultant, Chris Conway. Hold on, Cranial Veloria. That's after the review. But the technical foul was also submitted. Challenge a call, or rather a play, that's already been reviewed. And you know, you, you've the seen the how. The challenge was unsuccessful. Foul on number one, Cranial Veloria. Penalty. It has been announced that the challenge was unsuccessful. Attack. There you see, I think that is what our referees were pertaining to, but it's a close call for me to coach. Adeliano will be taking the technical free throw, after which Mark Sarangai will clear at the line. Six out of eight tonight. Now seven out of nine para kay Mark Sarangai. One minute and 35 seconds, this is still a lot of time. Our second game, Dito Sayonara Center. Kwekote, Bakwar breaks the press, Kwekote will score. Now that's really going to be a challenge right there. Get that inbounds, they were able to get that one, get it past the first line of defense. And look at Oliver there, finishing in open floor. Kwekote with that left-handed finish. Give it up, gets it back, Puroy, six on the shot clock, Koga. From the outside, catch, set, fire, off the glass, Paragay Rio Koga. Still time here, Matiliano. Oh no, that would not fall. Ooh. James Cuecote secures it for Bacor City. Sequence of events right here. Adam's out of the stair. Arang natanggalan ang